Okay, good evening again. We're going to uh, wrap up or finalize our lesson number one, which is the review of the basics of Excel. Uh, four basic topics, functions, formulas, relative addressing, absolute addressing, and then I, I, I will add a little formatting and also auto functions. We're going to use the auto functions. So I'm going to share to you my Excel file again. So just give me a minute. Okay. So this is where we left. Uh, I told you to do the first task, which is compute the grades of the students. Show a summary of the grades in another worksheet is what we're going to do right now. Okay, so these are the grades of the students. This is the 30% uh, equivalent of the quizzes, 10% equivalent of the project, 30% of the midterm exam. So 40 out of 50 is 24. Okay, uh, if you get the 30% of that, then 20. So if uh, just to remind you again, for ev whenever you get a, you we will get a perfect score here, like final exam, 50 out of 50, you're going to get the whole equivalent. So here, instead of 23.4, you're going to have 30. Okay, and as long as, as long as you get the perfect score for the midterm, so again, 30 for the project, you're going to have 10. And then for the quizzes, you're going to have 30. That's why if you get the perfect score for each, it, the total will be 100. Okay, so that's the whole idea. How do you do grades? Now let's show a summary. There are two ways on how to do this task number two. Uh, of course, some of you might know that how to copy and paste. So you're going to do, he said, show a summary of the grades in another worksheet. So that's task number two. Uh, so what we're going to do is to copy, uh, control C or copy, then go to another worksheet, then paste. That, as easy as that, right? So the only problem here that like for example these two columns it's not yet formatted okay so there is a little things or some things that you have to do uh, so when you go to this grades worksheet so you can see here it's not really the same okay so that's the problem with that so but anyway you can use that or you can go for this one, which is very, very useful. For me, this is how I do uh, this kind of tasks. So for example, right click and then right click on the name of the worksheet and then move or copy. And then see here, I will create a copy and then I will move to the end. Move to the end means instead of copying the worksheet immediately here, it will move here move to the end so copy you can see that it is uh completely copied you don't have to adjust anything you don't have to add anything so that's already completed so now i'm going to rename the worksheet so this is also an advice to all of you who will use excel so please name your files carefully or properly, and also the worksheets and the workbook. So don't forget that. So double click on the worksheet name. I'm going to put here summary. OK, so a little uh, formatting. So I highlighted this table from A6 until O21. I'm going to use font group borders all borders okay so just a little bit and then for the headings 
think I'm going to make it bold and okay and I'm going to center align the heading okay the rest I will keep it like that so that's it okay now what we're going to do is show a summary of the grades in another worksheet so this is not a summary because we have some of this uh, scores or points that is in here so again there are many ways on how to do this and my approach is just to highlight the columns okay I will keep column G for the total or I'm gonna hide it sorry hide and then hide and then hide and then hide this is my summary so I'm done with task number two what I will do now is task number three which is show the highest grade and show the lowest grade so again this is our just these are just auto functions so highest and then lowest and then number five average score of the final exam just going to like okay so as simple as that so highest grade grade is this one okay from here total grades we're talking about total grades so again auto functions highest is the max and then again as i said if you want to change the numbers on this function while the ant moving ant is still activated you select the cells wherein you want to get the highest grade okay 07 to 021 max press enter okay similarly you can do that for the mean which is the lowest minimum okay so same highlight if you uh, if you miss that moving at you can uh, manually type the formula okay press enter and lastly average final exam so here I have to unhide because the final exam grade is what we need to uh, actually consider okay you can consider also the equivalent but I think it's much more precise if you're going to use this final exam grades so highest or oh, average we're talking about going talking about average I started with an equal sign I will just type this uh, function you can use again the, the button or you just type the formula as is or the function and close parenthesis if you open the parenthesis you have to close it don't forget that okay press enter and that's my average so I will hide this again just to wrap up things okay that's actually the end of our lesson number one so just some basics that we need to use whenever we uh, we use Excel um, this is again that's a number one so that means this are the basics that we have we need to uh, go back to and to be prepared for the advanced courses or advanced lessons okay so with that thank you very much for your time and hoping you are always taking care of yourselves uh, bye I will always pray for you and hopefully uh, this crisis will end soon let's all pray for that have a good evening thank you very much